Hi guys, in this video I'll be taking a look at a budget B550 chipset Ryzen motherboard from Gigabyte. This is the Gigabyte B550M S2H. This is Gigabyte's lowest price B550 board coming in at about $30 less than Gigabyte's next model up, the B550M DS3H. It's compatible with Ryzen 3000 series CPUs out of the box and it will also work with Ryzen 5000 series once the firmware has been updated to version F10 or later. Taking a look inside the box, it comes with two SATA cables, one straight and one with a right angle connector, then there's the I.O. shield and the motherboard itself. Finally, tucked away in the bottom of the box, you'll find an installation guide in various languages, a user's manual and a CD containing drivers. Since I haven't owned a CD drive in about 10 years, that's not going to be of much use. One of the most important features of this board is that it supports PCI Express 4 and has an NVMe 4.0 slot. This gives it a significant advantage over the slightly cheaper entry level A520 boards, which are restricted to PCI Express 3. Taking a closer look at the board now, starting from the top left, we have the ATX power supply connector. Below that are two DDR4 memory slots, the CPU fan connector, the AM4 CPU socket, an 8-pin 12-volt connector for CPU power. Then moving on to the other side, we have four SATA 3 connectors, the first of two case fan connectors, a single 16 lanes PCI Express 4.0 slot for a GPU, an NVMe 4 socket for an SSD, a pair of single lane PCI Express slots for expansion cards, and finally the second case fan connector right next to the VRM heatsink. For rear output ports starting from the left we have two USB 2.0 ports and a PS2 port for legacy keyboard and mouse, VGA and DVI ports, HDMI 2.1, four USB 3 ports. One of these USB ports can be used for BIOS updates without a CPU installed by pressing the Q flash button next to it. There's gigabit ethernet, and finally audio ports for headphones, speakers, and microphone. For pin headers, in addition to the usual headers for front panel connections, USB and audio, there are also pin headers for RGB lighting in the form of Gigabyte's RGB Fusion 2.0. Overall then, if you're looking for an affordable board with Ryzen 5000 support and PCI Express 4, this motherboard represents excellent value for money. While you can buy an A520 board for a little less, an entry level B550 board like this one is a much better option since you're getting a PCI Express 4 slot and NVMe 4 along with the option to overclock. The only slight downside of this board when compared to the more expensive DS3H is that you only get two memory slots with this board as opposed to four. This would make upgrading in the future a little more complicated, as instead of just adding an extra two memory modules, you'd have to replace the existing memory with higher capacity modules. Apart from that minor gripe, this board offers great value and would be ideal as the basis for a budget gaming PC or as a cheap mining rig. It cost me just over 80 euros at the time of making this video. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.